students you are welcome again we are studying the periodic classification of elements and uh, in the earlier period we studied the various aspects related to the periodic table today in this lecture we are going to study the periodic trends in a modern periodic table and under this we are going to study the metallic and non metallic character of the elements so uh, in your textbook the question is given under the heading use your brain power and the question is that look at the elements of the third period and classify them into the metals and non metals so here there are the elements which are present in the third period so you know that in the third period the elements are sodium magnesium aluminium silicon phosphorus sulfur etc and we have to classify them into the metals and non metals so remember the um, when we classify them you will come to know that the sodium it is the first element it is the metal then the magnesium it is also the metal and the aluminium it is also the metal so if we classify the non metals you will able to know that the phosphorus and the sulfur they are the non metals in the particular period so the next question ask is on which side of the period are the metals remember they are on the left or right yes the metals they are kept on the left side of a modern periodic table in every period so uh, on which side did you find the non metals also so the non metals are at the right side of the modern periodic table in every group so uh, again a question may arise in your mind why this is so so let us see why the metals are to the left side and the non metals are to the right side in a modern periodic table you can see that the metallic elements like the sodium magnesium are towards the left and the non metallic elements like the sulfur and chlorine are towards the right so the metalloid element they like the silicon they lies between those two type of elements and a similar pattern it is observed in other periods also so it is seen that in a modern periodic table there is one zigzag line and that line separates the metals from the non metals and remember the element they have to be appear in such a way that the metals are on the left side of a modern periodic table and the, the non metals are to the right side of a modern periodic table whereas the metalloid elements they are at the border of the line which separates the metals and non metals in a modern periodic table to understand this trend in a modern periodic table we are now going to study some characteristic chemical properties of metals and non metals so remember that on the basis of the observation of chemical formulae of simple ionic compound that the cation in them is formed from a metal and the anion from a non metal so you can see here the sodium chloride is a example sodium chloride is a ionic compound and that sodium chloride it is formed by two ions that is the cation and anion and in the sodium chloride the sodium is a cation that means the positively charged ion whereas the chlorine is anion which is the negatively charged ion so remember from this we can understand that the metallic metallic atom they have the tendency to form a cation by losing its valence shell electron whereas the non metal has tendency to form anion by accept accepting electrons from the outside into its valence shell so we have already already seen that the uh, all the ions they do possess the electronic configuration similar to the inert gas element and remember it is quite stable electronic configuration like a noble noble gas so how is the ability to lose or accept the electron in the valence shell it is determined so all the electrons in the atom they are held by the attractive forces which are exerted on them by a positively charged nucleus that is the protons present in the nucleus electrons in the inner shell it get lie between the nucleus and the valence shell because of their presence the effective nuclear charge which is exerting an attractive force on the valence shell electrons and it get somewhat less than the actual nuclear charge therefore 
the number of valence shell in the metal is small as you know that it is either one or two or three and also the effective nuclear charge exerting the attractive force on the valence shell electron it is also very small so this is the combined effect and though due to those two effect the metals they have tendency to lose the valence electron to form the cations whereas they uh, they can possess the um, stable electronic configuration like a noble gas by donating the electron so this tendency of an element it is called as electropositivity and the electropositivity is one of the important metallic characteristics of that element which is seen in the modern periodic table so the periodic trend in a metallic character of element is clearly understood from the position of the element in a modern periodic table let's let us consider the first example of the metallic character of element that belonging to the same group so while going down a group a new shell get added and therefore the elements belonging to that group the resulting in an increase in the distance between the nucleus and the valence electrons so this result in the lowering the effect of nuclear charge and thereby lowering the attractive forces also so the penultimate shell penultimate shell means the shell which is before the valence shell that penultimate shell it will become the outermost shell on losing the valence electrons and the penultimate shell it possess the complete octet therefore the resulting cation it has a special stability also and remember due to this the tendency of atom to lose electron it increases further so the metallic character of an atom is its tendency to lose the electron and therefore the following trend is observed that is nothing but the metallic character of element increases while going down the group while going from left to right within a period the outermost shell it remains the same however the positive charge on the nucleus is goes on increasing while the atomic radius it goes on decreasing therefore the effective nuclear cha charge it also get increase therefore the result is that the tendency of atom to lose the valence cell ele electron it get decrease within a period from left to right so therefore we can see that the metallic characteristic what is the metallic characteristic it is to donate the electron therefore electron donating capacity of the element it get decrease while going from left to right in a period therefore we can say that the metallic characteristics they also get decrease while going from left to right in a period so you can understand that there are two different factors namely increasing nuclear charge and the decreasing atomic radius as the nuclear charge get increased due to addition of the new electrons in the valence shell and the um, the atomic radius it also gets decrease due to the nuclear attraction so remember uh, while going from left to right in a period uh, those two factors are responsible for increasing the effective nuclear charge therefore the valence shell electrons they are held with a greater attractive force and this is called as the electronegativity so remember what is the electronegativity of atom when those valence shell electrons they are attracted with a greater force of attraction so due to the increasing electronegativity from left to right within a period the ability of atom to uh, become an ion by accepting outside electrons it goes on increasing so the tendency of element to form an ion or the electronegativity is the non metallic characteristic of element and remember while going from the left to right in a, any period the electronegativity or the non metallic characteristic it goes on increasing so what we can conclude now while going downward in any group the electropositivity of element it goes on increasing while their electronegativity it goes on decreasing next the uh, while we go, going from the left to right in any period the electronegativity of element it goes on increasing while their electropositivity it goes on decreasing and remember the larger the electropositivity of or the electronegativity of any element higher is the reactivity 
that it means the larger electropositive element it will react readily as well as larger electronegative element also react readily why this is so because if it is electropositive larger electropositive it will donate the electron readily as well as if it is having the larger electronegativity it will accept the electron readily therefore what will happen the chemical reaction will take place very fast thank you